I've written letters to you on why. Dear Diary, I think I met the love of my life today. No, no, it's not Cindy again. But I will say that she crossed my mind when I was thinking of the ideal mate, and she lost to my new love. I know I'm throwing the word love around a lot, but I'm really not. Let me tell you about her. She's got the fruiting body of a goddess, and you can tell by just looking at her that she's well grounded. After class, I sat by her outside and ate my lunch. I started talking to her, and I learned that we have a lot in common. She's a heterotroph, and can't carry out photosynthesis. And I was like, OMG, neither can I! She's a eukaryote, and has organelles within her cells, and so do I! At that point, I thought it was too good to be true, so I started digging deeper. She started secreting enzymes onto food crumbs I was dropping, and I was like, hey, what's the deal? And she said, that's how she eats. I thought that was really cool, because when I put food on my skin, I wish it just absorbed into my body too. I did find out that she was a symbiont, and I was like, oh no, you're not parasitic, are you? Because I wouldn't want a lover who would harm me if I were to be its host. But thankfully, she's a mutualist. That's what I like in a girl. Someone who gives as much as I do. I think we're gonna do just fine. Luckily, I convinced her that I was a tree, because usually she doesn't go out with humans. I hope that's not a problem. Toward the end of lunch, her sack opened and she released some spores. And I caught one. Anyway, I'll get back to you tomorrow on how trying to make a zygote goes. Good night.